and making Ladies something happen Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, there. fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighs in at 155.4 pounds. Fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Dylan Fuda. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands six feet tall. He weighs in at 155.2 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Greg Freund. Referee John Duver has the call for this contest, and I hate to say it, but literally somebody's O's got to go tonight. <laughs> hey, we get at least one cheesy thing we can say as commentators tonight, Jeremy. You cashed in your chip. Oh, big shot there coming from Fuda, but immediately Freund going for the takedown, trying to make something happen, looking for that head and arm choke himself, and yeah. gives up his back. Big takedown there coming from Fuda. Fuda almost looked to suplex him there a little bit, now pressuring forward. Greg looking to get back to his feet, actually not wanting to fight off his back. Heavy pressure here coming from Fuda up against the cage. Yeah, great pressure from Fuda here. Looking for a trip to get this back. It is exhausting, though, to have a guy pop back up like this, especially using a lot of energy on takedown. So good work from Freund of not just seceding that guard, making him work for it. Nice knee there coming from Fuda. And to go back to corners, Freund also is cornered by Luigi Fioravanti and has been working, I know personally, tirelessly on his stand-up to tighten things up and make sure he can not just throw the flashy stuff, but some more traditional attacks. Let's see if he looks to showcase those tonight as well. A lot of head pressure here coming from Freund in the corner. Yeah, a lot of head pressure. Very very physically strong underhook. Good, uh, good V control there inside the arm of Fuda, just keeping him pinned. This is absolutely grueling here for Fuda to have to carry the weight of Freund and that head position where you can't move because where your head goes, your body follows. I was gonna, I was gonna say that it doesn't look like a ton's going on here, but this is so grueling and exhausting to have someone strong, physically similar to you with their head underneath your chin, driving you to the cage and landing these short but tight, powerful shots. If, I'm, if I was Fuda, I would try to disengage whatever way possible here. Freund lets him go. Oh, Big Body Shot kick. catches the kick. Big hands coming from Fuda. A big lead uppercut just landed that forced Greg to take that shot. Big lead uppercut landed. Freund very, very intelligently takes that shot. Get on top, tries to slow this down. Under one minute remaining here in round one, Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Ryan Sutton live at Lumiere Place Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Looks what? like Fuda attempting to shift his hips, maybe make a submission attempt or scramble happen from the bottom. But so far, Freund has been attached to him. A lot of heavy pressure here coming from Freund. But here comes Fuda throwing up a triangle attempt. Yep. Nice stoppage there, though, from Freund. Yep, good hips by Fuda to attack that, but very, very smart hips. I mean, I'm saying, excuse me, smart defense from Freund. 15 seconds remaining here in the first round. Again, grueling head position here from Freund. Starting to tee up and land is 10 seconds down. Yes. Good round one. Ryan, how do you see that one? You know, I would say I was scoring it for Fuda just from the, the slam and the big shot that forced Freund to take a shot. But that last 15, 20 seconds could have stole the round and really iced it for Freund. He controlled him most of the time against the cage, but really postured up and landed some solid shots. As you know, Jeremy, the ref are the judges. Remember what happens last in the round a lot more than they remember what happens early. Definitely nice take down there. Freund in that head position, looking for the head and arm, which gave up his back. And then immediately, Fuda goes for that suplex position. Good, good control. Freund did a great job standing back up, then pressuring Fuda to the cage. Fuda got a chance to let his hands go a little bit. Freund smartly takes him down, and I think probably stole the round with a little flurry there near, near the end. Very tough round to call. That's why they say don't leave it to the judges as we move on here to round two. Exactly, Jeremy. You don't want two more rounds like that if you're either one of these guys. 
Both fighters still look in phenomenal shape moving into round two. Yeah, either one of them breathing, endurance level's good. They're both loading up for kicks. Yeah, Greg loaded up. He looked like he wanted to do a little capior kick. Nice avoidance there of the kick from Fuda. Yeah, Fuda looking push kick high himself. Oh, Chops nice, that nice leg. chop leg. Yeah. Greg needs Greg needs to start check. Oh, and answers right back with a hard kick. Oh, big shot to the body. Yeah. These guys need to start checking those leg kicks or they're not going to be walking so great tomorrow. And they are literally trading them back and forth. Yeah, kick for kick. If I was Freund here, one thing I would really work on is trying to establish the center of the cage a little more. That's another thing judges look for. If you're pressing forward, holding the center of the cage, even if you're throwing effective strikes, it could look like you're being a little non-assertive, not aggressive. This is a very tough position here for Freund, trying to elevate here with that butterfly guard. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't a necessarily clean takedown. Looks like he almost fell into the guard a little bit but it appears he's looking a butterfly sweep and almost got it. Fuda's hips a little high here. Definitely, definitely a danger of being swept. Freund definitely trying to work that butterfly guard, maintaining position. That way he doesn't take as much damage as we are halfway through round two. Yeah, and he's doing a good job of getting an underhook. That, that was a fantastic job of keeping your underhook and then using that to advance position. Now he looks like he's going to jump to little, mount. Little neon belly moving into side control, trying yeah. to step over into mount. Slips this that is into a, mount. A tough position to be up against the cage here for Fuda. Yeah, this is not where Fuda wants to be. You do not want to be head against the cage with a guy who's very physically strong, mounted, and willing to posture up and throw some shots. Heavy, heavy pressure here coming from Freund, who's standing up to land some ground and pound. He's trying to make that space, but Fuda's doing a good job of maintaining that posture, even though he is in the mounted position. Yeah, yeah, Freund is really doing a good job of throwing some of these strikes effective, making him work, posturing up. Heavy pressure here coming, big hammer fist, 30 seconds remaining in round two. Referee John Duber right on top of the action. And, and that is seen enough. Dylan Fuda drops to three and one while Greg Point makes it to four and zero oh inside the Shamrock FC cage. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the bout. Two minutes and thirty-five seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, Greg Freund. Moving his record to five or four and zero oh in the Shamrock FC cage. Greg Freund.